So this is a tea glass from Lilico and this reminds us of the Google Glass which was released back in 2014 that is of course discontinued as of now but in 2024 now we have this tea glass and the good part is this is completely programmable and in this video I'm gonna let you know everything about this tea glasses starting from the unboxing experience, its technical specifications and then I'll also open it up and let you see what's inside this tea glass. Later we'll be testing what comes in its built-in firmware and later I'll also let you know how you can program it with the help of Arduino IDE and in the end we'll conclude this video about what kind of projects you can make with the help of this tea glass. And the best part for you, one of the lucky viewer will be getting this brand new tea glass for absolutely free. So just stay tuned with this video as I'll be disclosing the giveaway contest at the end of the video. And now without wasting any further time, let's start this video with a quick unboxing. So this is how you'll receive the product with the name of the product and the photo on the top and along with it it is also mentioned as it is based on ESP32 S3 chipset and has built in microphone as well. So that's the complete box overview and now let's open it up. So in the box we get the frame for the glasses and then we get the actual tea glass which got all the tech inside it. Now the body of this tea glass is completely 3D printed and we can feel that by touching it. And that was the complete unboxing experience. Now let's talk about the technical specifications of it. So this glass is powered by the ESP32 S3 FN4 R2 chipset which is clocked at 240 MHz and got built in 4 MB of flash memory and 2 MB of PS RAM in it. Along with that it also got built in microphone, RTC and a touch button. Now here talking about the display then, it has 1.1 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 294 by 120 pixels but the visible area is just 126 by 126 pixels. And this glasses comes with a built in battery of 200mAh. So those were the complete technical specifications of this tea glass and now if you wonder where all the components are arranged like where's the battery, where's the display, where's the processor and everything, well then let me open it up for you to clear all your doubts. So while opening the glass, the first thing that we see is the prism which we can easily remove from this plastic piece and the prism has a mirror fitted inside at the 45 degree angle. Later, we get to see the AMOLED display of 294 by 126 pixels but when I turn it on, as you can see the visible resolution is only half of the display around 126 by 126 pixels. And if we put this prism on the top, we can actually see how this complete glass works. Later, at the edge of the display, we have this touch button through which we can interact with the glass. Now behind the display, we get to see the microphone, push button and battery connector. And now, below the microphone, we have the ESP32 S3 chipset and the IMU. Now talking about the battery and the antenna, then they are fitted inside the strap of our tea glass and that was the complete inside look of the product. And now, let's have a look over the built-in firmware. So in this built-in firmware, we get to see the date and time first of all and we can switch the page by touching the button near the display. On the second page, we get to see the data coming from our IMU. Later on the third page, we get to see a gauge widget that shows the current battery level. Then on the next page, we get to see the RSSI value of the router through which the device is connected with but currently as it is not connected, it's showing NA. Moving ahead, we get to see the animated arrows going in the different directions and the last page shows the counter that increments based on the noise around the glass. And by touching the button again, we get back to the first page and that's all what comes in the built-in firmware. And now while testing it, I found that the glass need to be put a little far away from our eyes to visualize it completely. If we keep it close, we can't see that properly. But if we remove the prism and rotate it 180 degree and insert it again, now we can see the display even if it is very close to our eyes but it's zoomed in little bit so we won't be able to see all the data at once. So it's kind of a trade off but I'll go with the first option only. So that was all about the built in firmware and now let me show you how to program it with Arduino IDE. Ok so now to program this tea glass with our Arduino IDE, we first need to download this complete repository provided by the Liligo itself, I'll be providing its link in the description. So here is the repository which I just downloaded, now here inside this folder you'll find couple of different libraries which you need to copy, after that you can go to your documents Arduino into libraries and here just paste out all those libraries. So in case if it asks for replacement, well you should replace it because this folder contains the library version, like the particular library version support 
supported for this T glass. So do replace all those folders. So after installing the libraries, now it's the time to check the ESP32 boards package version. Now here on the official GitHub repository, it is mentioned as the version should be above 2.0.5 and below 3.0 so now to check the version you can go to your boards manager and here just type out as esp32 and in my case the version installed is 2.0.9 so i can use this version in case the version is above 3.0 make sure you downgrade it and if the version is below 2.5 make sure you upgrade it after that we still need to install one more library for that you can go to the library manager and here just type out as t glass and here you will find one library from Liligo itself. You just need to install this library. In my case, it is already installed. So those were a couple of pre-configurations to be done to make sure the code gets successfully uploaded onto your T-Glass board. Now we are good to go to start uploading one example code. Now the example codes are already provided in the GitHub repository. So I can go into the examples and here I'll go into the glass one. And here are all the example codes provided by the Lego itself. Let's just start with the basic one, which is the glass hello world. And I will open it with the Arduino IDE. Okay, so this code will only help us to print hello world inside the tiny little display of T glass. Now to upload it, first we need to select the right board, which is ESP32 S3 development board. Later, make sure that all the configurations are same as mentioned here, like the partition scheme, the PSRM, the USB CDC on board, everything, make sure it is same as shown in my computer. After verifying everything, just select the right COM port on which the T class is connected. And now let's just hit the upload button. A few minutes later and it successfully uploaded and now on my tea glass I'm able to see the hello world written inside the white screen and with this we learn how to successfully upload the code onto the tea glass and similarly there are several different example codes provided by the Lilco itself so you can try out all the example codes so basically what they did is they provided an example code for each of the function maybe it's RTC maybe it's like battery voltage the 6DOF that is the that's for the IMU the touch button so they have provided all different example code so you can club all of the example code and make some new project out of it and in case we go back to the factory firmware factory code you can go to this glass factory and open this example code and this is the same code which comes pre flash inside the t glass straight from the factory and here they did a good job which is they mentioned all the configurations to be made here inside the code itself so that you don't miss it still let's just cross check everything okay so everything is perfectly fine i can hit the upload button and now the tea glass will go back to the factory firmware. Five minutes later. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and the tea glass is back to its factory firmware. So that's how you can easily program this tea glass and make any projects that you want. And as we are talking about the projects, let me tell you a couple of project ideas that you can make using the tea glass. The first one is you can build a notifier, a notifier to alert any kind of things like an intruder alert system, like a fire alert or any different kind of alert. You'll get a kind of alert in the tea glass itself. That's kind of a useful application. Second one is you can make a navigator. So I got this idea when I saw those animated arrows in the built-in factory firmware. I was like, I can make a project in which I can get to see the direction and the distance towards my destination uh, on the T glass itself, which will be connected through my smartphone. And that will be kind of a very useful project. Like when we are the glass while you know, driving our vehicle, and we can see everything in the glass itself. So that was another application or project we can say. And third project is something that is actually built by Electronobes in which uh, we get to see the readings of the digital multimeter on our T glass itself. So Electronoob made his own glass and his own Bluetooth based multimeter and that's how he was able to get the readings on the glass. But if in case we want to make it with the help of the T glass, well we need to have a Bluetooth based digital multimeter so that it can send the data to our T glass. As of now I don't have it but in case if you have it, if, in case if you make it, well this is a very interesting and useful project to be made with the help of the T glass. So those were a couple of my ideas and now it's time for you to share your ideas and by sharing your ideas you may get a chance to win this brand new tea glass yes so i'm giving away this tea glass to one of the lucky subscriber and to participate in this giveaway contest well the steps are really very simple so first step is you need to like this video because hey come on it's a very good video about a very unique product right secondly you need to be a subscriber of our channel because 
hey techie asmus brings a lot of new innovative videos every week so you need to be a subscriber of our channel third step is you need to comment below the project ideas that you will be making in case if you win this glasses so by following all these three steps you are eligible for this giveaway contest and later after one week on next sunday 11 a.m i'll be announcing the giveaway winner on my instagram account so make sure you follow me on instagram as well and yeah, that was it about the giveaway and that was it about the video as well. I'll be leaving away all the important links regarding the product down in the description of this video. So do check them out. And yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.